Samsung says that it's figured out what caused the batteries on some Galaxy Note 7 smartphones to catch fire. Here's Chris Van Cleve. It was overheating incidents like these that prompted a worldwide recall and months-long investigation by 700 Samsung engineers. 200,000 plus devices and more than 30,000 lithium ion batteries were tested. Samsung found a design defect. Incorrect battery positioning in the Galaxy Note 7 upper right corner caused the first wave of problems. Then some replacement devices had a manufacturing error, an abnormal weld that led to internal short circuits. Mark Dan Ackerman right from here. CNET. Two different defects in two different sets of batteries from two different suppliers, uh, but you end up with the same result in both cases, which is what seems so, so unbelievable about this case. In the U.S., Samsung says it received 13 reports of burns, 47 of property damage, and in all, 96 reports of overheating batteries. The vast majority of rechargeable electronic devices are powered by lithium-ion batteries, known for their high power output and low cost. Are these lithium-ion batteries safe, or are we packing too much power into a small thing? Now, conceptually, these batteries are safe, but we're asking them to do more than ever in, in more tightly constrained and designed products. So that's you're really pushing the, the boundaries there of what these batteries can physically do. There have also been other products, like e-cigarettes overheating and catching fire. Oh. Oh. And about a half million hoverboards were recalled last summer because faulty battery packs could overheat and in some cases also catch fire. Airlines, including Alaska and Virgin America, are now stocking burn bags like these that can contain a lithium-ion fire. Samsung also announced a new eight-point safety check of batteries that includes X-raying for abnormalities. Scott, of the three million Note 7s sold, 96% have been returned, but that leaves about 120,000 unaccounted for worldwide. Chris Van Cleve with the follow-up for us tonight. Chris, thank you.